cleaning in OSD production processes. How do we have to clean our machines and what is required? Welcome to my blog and welcome Christian Link. He's Director of Application Engineering at Ulmer Packaging Systems. And Christian, what is cleaning about in packaging systems? In the packaging area, if you think, if you think about containment, uh, it's the primary packaging um, of the finished product. And that's a big issue for, for us and for our customers, especially when you talk about containment because of the cross-contamination and all these implications this may have down the road. So in the design phase and in the building phase and the mock-up studies, this is a central area of our concern and, and a focus in, in our design features when we design containment systems around the packaging machines. Yeah, that's also the same for us. Sometimes it even starts with the cleaning. And, and we're talking about CIP, WIP, manual mm -hmm. cleaning. What is required? What do we need? Yeah. Sometimes we have to, to, yeah, to reduce the, the uh, uh, requirements because we see it's not required. It's not necessary to Absolutely. have a CIP system. Absolutely. We, we, we see the same thing. A lot of times people come in and say, oh, I have a very potent drug. I need wash in place. I need clean in place. And my question is, do you? <laughs> because the, the, the design space that we have, we, we always design it as, as big as necessary and as small as possible. Mm. So this does not leave a lot of extra room. Um, and every, every centimeter is very well thought of. And we look for it so it can be reached. So if we look at uh, these automatic cleaning systems, what we find at the end is that many of them cost you a lot of money, a lot of investment, and at the end, you're faster doing it manually. Yeah. And it's not required that you have it. And, and so that's our experience. We, we've we have, um, put um, washing place systems in the market with very mixed results. Yeah, it's uh, very often that uh, people underestimate uh, the requirements that they have when they have to work with CIP systems. It's clear pushing the button is quite a nice thing, mm -hmm. but, but uh, the CIP process must be found out. You yeah. have to, to design uh, uh, not only a machine calling CIP, the recipe of cleaning is also something that's not that easy to find out. And, and so um, sometimes manual washing is really the easiest way to handle. Absolutely. When it comes to machine availability, um, doing it in parallel is much faster for getting the machine back into production than do it in one piece. Just the cleaning time for an automatic cleaning cycle, a drying cycle, the cleaning time and the drying cycle um, is much, much longer than if you um, rinse everything down, remove the, the parts that need to be cleaned, remove them from the system and then wash it by hand. And in parallel, you clean everything in a separate room. Yeah. Your, 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 the time when you to get, to get back into production, it's much faster and less investment. I said before that I, we have mixed results and it's not by, because of our designs, just, mm. to, be, just, just um, to make that clear. It is when the customer looks at the overall picture, at the overall SOPs, the overall investment, and the alternatives, they find that what I just described, taking it out, uh, taking the parts out and cleaning them in parallel is the more economical uh, solution for them. Yeah. And the process time also it, it can be increased a lot by, just by, by, by a, a CIP, in a CIP process. So instead of cleaning half a day, it takes you one day uh, for cleaning and drying if you do, want to do it automatically, depending on the potency of your product right. and on the right. cleanability of your product. It's not necessarily the machine or the design of the machine yeah. that makes the CIP process difficult. No. It's also the excipients and the API that's, uh, that's included there. Absolutely, and, and the detergent, the cleaning detergents. Yeah. What, what is your experience there with the detergents? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we have customers, they say, we have one, one detergent in our, in our company, and that's, yeah. the one, that's the one that you will use for, for this machine. But if it's not designed to, for a CIP process, then it won't, it won't work. work. Exactly. And, and even when you cook your machine days, 
uh, it still will not be yeah, yeah. possible. Another argument and comes up, and we haven't really looked into that, but these days everybody talks about sustainability. But if you talk about the sustainability and if you look at all the, the energy and the resources involved in an automatic process versus a manual process, I'm not sure that at the end of the day, sustainability on a manual process is better than an automated process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's, but we haven't even looked at that yet. Mm. So to, to sum it up for the packaging room and area, I have to say that whatever we're doing right now, um, which is um, rinsing everything inside the machine with a, with a, with a fine dust just to, to bind the particles to the surface, then remove um, the, the format parts which are uh, wet and have to be cleaned with an endless liner or a, an RTP port into a container, bringing them off to a separate cleaning area and then cleaning the rest of the machine, which is the feeding system. The inside of the containment it's, is, is the, the, ch the choice that everybody takes uh -huh. and follows. Yeah, process. and you still in your process have a containment. So, so and and the operators they are safe. They're safe. It's not that manual cleaning means the operators are not safe, or yep. The, yep. They, it's an unsafe process. It is a safe process. It is CIP is is well better documented sometimes, mm. but there's thousands of machines around the world. Where, where it's proven that that, that uh, um, this can be mm. also done mm. with uh, uh, manual cleaning. It's it's a very valuable input that you have. That a lot of some people, not not a lot of them, but some people have the misconception that manual cleaning is not as safe as an automated mm. process. You're correct, yeah. and I support that 100. percent Yeah, we see cleaning and washing the machine is something that needs to be discussed with the experts, and in the end we will find together the best way of how to handle your special requirements. Thank you for taking place here at this uh, um, blog and uh, see you next time. Stay tuned. <laughs>